You yourself should always be your number one priority because there's nobody else who's going to take responsibility for your life except for you. You might rely on doctors or other professionals or friends or family or these people can help you but at the end of the day no one can take responsibility for your life, your health, happiness and peace except for yourself. There's a clear difference between a selfish person and a person who takes care of themselves. A selfish person is someone who only thinks about their well-being. So this is someone who, I don't care if people are miserable, I don't care if everyone else is suffering and poor and doesn't have any resources. If I'm happy, if I'm living a good life, then why do I care? That kind of person is a selfish person. On the other hand, a person who takes care of themselves, a person who practices self-care, isn't someone who says, well, I don't care about if other people are suffering, I only care about my well-being. They don't think that this way. They think, I care about my well-being and I also take care of other people's well-being too. But I'm going to take care of myself first so that I can help others better. There's a very clear difference. So actually self-care comes from a place of great love. Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome! Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the topic of self-care. And the first thing that I want to say about self-care is self-care is not selfish. There's a very bad stigma in society that people who take care of themselves, people who put themselves as a priority, they're considered selfish. And even that person also feels that if he or she puts themselves first before others, there's a looming sense of unspoken guilt that people carry. Of course, it's getting better now because self-care is more of an accepted topic. It's more of a topic of discussion also that is um, being spoken about by a lot more people than before. So the stigma is getting a little bit better, but there's still a lot of people who hold guilt of putting themselves first as a priority. But this belief cannot be further away from the truth. You yourself should always be your number one priority because there's nobody else who's gonna take responsibility for your life except for you. You might rely on doctors or other professionals or friends or family or these people can help you, but at the end of the day, no one can take responsibility for your life, your health, happiness, and peace except for yourself. So if you're the person who has to take responsibility for your own well-being, then you should absolutely make it a priority to put yourself at the top of your priority list. There's a clear difference between a selfish person and a person who takes care of themselves. A selfish person is someone who only thinks about their well-being. So this is someone who I don't care if people are miserable, I don't care if ev everyone else is suffering and poor and doesn't have any resources. If I'm happy, if I'm living a good life, then why do I care? That kind of person is a selfish person. On the other hand, a person who takes care of themselves, a person who practices self-care, isn't someone who says, well, I don't care about if other people are suffering, I only care about my well-being. They don't think that this way. They think, I care about my well-being and I also take care of other people's well-being too. But I'm going to take care of myself first so that I can help others better. There's a very clear difference. So actually self-care comes from a place of great love. Great love for myself, seeing that I am an important person in the society and then knowing how to manage my health manage myself so that I can be of better service to others in this world. Have you heard of the oxygen mask principle? When you get on the airplane, they say when there's low oxygen, the oxygen masks will drop from the, the ceiling and they always say this, put your mask on first before assisting others. There's a very important reason why they say that and that's because if you are running out of oxygen and dying uh, like this, it's impossible to take care of somebody else, which means you put yourself and the other person in danger at the same time. Whereas when you put your ma mask on first, receive oxygen so that your head is clear and you can help other people in a more effective way. 
Can you imagine what would happen when the masks drop and you feel so guilty about putting this on first that you're running out of air and you try to help the other person and then you don't make it and then you both just uh, like this. Can you imagine? The only thing that was standing in your way is your guilt, this shame that society put on us that if I take care of myself, I'm a selfish person. No. The smart thing to do is taking, your, taking care of yourself first so that you are well enough to take care of other people and more effective at taking care of other people. And that is why we say self-care is not selfish. Self-care is very important because if you are not well, then you can't take care of others well either. This is especially true for people who are the heads of household or they have this responsibility to take care of other family members. If you are in that position where you're the caregiver to the people in your family, you absolutely must practice self-care because without you as the foundation, without you as the pillar to hold that family together, your family cannot be well. So there are many types of self-care, but the best ones are the ones that bring you energy back to you. So things like yoga, meditation, going on a walk, taking some time for yourself without any distractions, those are the best ways to recharge your energy so that your battery is full so you can give other people more of your time, more of your attention, and more of your love. So please don't use busyness as an excuse like, I don't have time, I don't have finances, I'm just too busy, I'm too overwhelmed to take care of your health. Because without health, all of these things that you're trying to accomplish, whether it be success, having more money, having more happiness, having more uh, time in your life, these things cannot be accomplished without a foundation of good, solid health. So always remember this, whatever you are trying to achieve is worth nothing if you are sick. A good solid foundation of health is the best wealth that anyone can have. So let's make self-care something that is number one on everyone's priority list. Imagine what kind of healing world we can have if everyone places themselves as number one on their priority list to take care of so that they can take care of other people better with a full bar of energy inside. So what are some of your favorite ways to practice self-care? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below how you practice self-care. And also let me know in the comments below what you guys think about self-care. If you're still in that category of I feel some sort of guilt and shame and on, on discomfort putting myself first on my priority list, don't worry, you are not alone. Let's talk about it, let's discuss it. Let me know everything that you're going through about self-care, your successes, your failures, your blocks things that work really well. Let me know everything on your mind about self-care. Let's talk about self-care and break all the stigmas that prevent us from really taking care of ourselves. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I'll see you in another video. Please take care of yourselves. Be well, stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, and stay peaceful. See you in another video. Bye!